My name's Joseph Williams, AKA Jaws Fitness. If you're interested in nutrition coaching, go ahead and check the link in the description box or go to jawsfit.com. Today, we're gonna to be talking about one of my all-time favorite supplements, citrulline malate. Now, as interesting as I think the biochemistry of this supplement is, I'm not gonna get into that today because I know the vast majority of you don't really care. You just wanna know whether or not it works. So let's get into it. So in the description box, I have linked all the studies that I'm gonna be discussing today, but I'm not gonna bore you with useless material. I've already read it. If you wanna read it, feel free to go ahead. We're just gonna sum it all up and get down to what's important. I've gotta turn the heat off. I'm sweating like a whore in church. <sighs> That's better. So the first article that we're gonna review is from 2002, and the title of this article is, Citrulline Malate Promotes Aerobic Energy Production in Human Exercising Muscle. Conclusion of the study, Citrulline Malate Ingestion prior to exercise results a larger contribution to global energy production. What? So what does that mean? It helps reduce fatigue. Our next study is from 2010, and this one is titled, Citrulline Malate Enhances Athletic Anaerobic Performance and Relieves Muscle Soreness. Me personally, I don't care about muscle soreness. You might. It's not that big of a deal for me. In the conclusion of this study, it states that the more sets that the individuals did, the more reps they were able to do as compared to the placebo group. And they later state that a single dose of four to 10 grams of citrulline malate at least one hour prior to an exercise session or an athletic event can increase performance. And then of course there's decreased fatigue and soreness and whatever, if you care about that, there you go. Now I do wanna say that this study stated that 15% of the subjects experience stomach discomfort. It doesn't define what stomach dis discomfort means, for all we know. You crapped your pants. I mean, it's a mess out there. The next study on our list is from 2015. And this study, the effects of supplemental in citrulline malate ingestion on blood lactate, cardiovascular dynamics, and resistance performance in trained men. So this is this study's awesome. They tested college age men who were trained. <laughs> Blood lactate did see a timed effect, meaning that those that took the citrulline malate had an increased time without blood lactate taking effect, as opposed to those that didn't take the citrulline malate. So therefore it decreases fatigue. Systolic blood pressure, the number on top, didn't see a difference on time or treatment with the placebo group and the citrulline group. Diastolic blood pressure, the number on bottom, also didn't see a difference on time, but did show a difference for treatment. Now for those of you that don't know, systolic is when your heart pumps the blood straight out through your body. Diastolic is when and after that pump, the heart brings the blood back in. That's the pressure going into the heart. So just for clarification, the number didn't change significantly enough to yield any concerns. However, I'm not a medical doctor. Results may vary. Always consult a doctor before you try new things. I think that's the correct way of saying don't do stupid Also, I want to point out that these college-aged men saw an increase in performance in their upper body resistance exercises. My biggest problem with this study is that their definition of resistance training is push-ups, pull-ups, and chin-ups. I wanna see this study done with actual weights. See what happens. Brian the Gorilla Chemist did share this study not long ago that states that citrulline supplementation induces changes in body composition and limits age-related metabolic changes in healthy male rats. So basically, citrulline can be seen as anti-aging. That's pretty cool. Also, Science Direct had a nice compilation of different articles on citrulline, but it is beyond the scope of this video. However, I have linked it in the description box, and if you're interested, you are more than welcome to check that out. Me personally, whenever I'm looking for a pre-workout, I make sure that it has a minimum of six grams of citrulline malate, but I try not to go above 10 grams, just because the minimal effective dose seems to be between four and 10, so six grams is okay, eight grams is good. If you can find a pre-workout that has six to eight grams, I think you're doing okay. I think 10 might be a little overboard. Is citrulline malate a good supplement? Majority of the science supports what I consider it to be a good supplement for, and that's for sports performance, which is exactly why I take it. Plus, it yields an amazing pump. pump. All right, guys, that is the conclusion of our video. If you liked it, like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.